now we are going to design the turn mechanism and we deselect on the left ones so the left top and the left bottom and go to home we turn uh, so we see this face and we select this face so select it and press plan view we, we gonna draw on this a uh, circle so we, we select this point here we drag the circle out for an 8 8 zero. it's pretty pretty big we select the move tool and place the move tool on the circle so select the circle so the, the circle is green and we go up and give it a dimension of 11 and we do the same in this direction so we pull it for 15 and now we know that if we place the top on here this is exact the mid point go to the home view uh, press the pull button and select this one and press it in for 10.5 millimeters control it or it's not st sticking through the surface and there's another good feature to, to control it and it's hard to see how far it's in the, in the hole and a feature I like to control once in a while or if you walk inside an object or you're not you know too close to the edge or you're probably damaging the edge so it's it's sticking through it is this one and it's called shell and with shell you can make an object select this face put on the shell and you see with shell you you make it a hollow body and now you can easily see how far 10.5 millimeters is yeah or it, it's what this is damaging your body yes or no and as you see it's safe and we don't want to have a hollow body so we only have used this to take a visual look at it so deselect and it's we could go so what we do now we go to home view we select the, the left ones we're gonna make so we select this body oh <laughs> we are still in the shell mode okay. undo very easy the best friend of the designer select select this face and go to plan view and make a circle and we make the circle 7.5 so there's a turn so it's a little just a tiny bit smaller but that's what I like on 3d modeling in a CAD program you can work on the edge uh, select the, uh, the move tool select the select the circle go up for uh, 11 and again if I, you see this is the top so always control or if the top was on the other side this line was not the midpoint right so find the midpoint and go to home and pull tool and zoom in on this one and we gonna drag it out for 
3. We, it's, you see it's still selected. Go to plan view. We select circle. And we made a circle on it with a diameter of 4. And we go to home. Pull tool again. Zoom in. Select it. And drag it out for 5 millimeters. And you see it's still selected. We do the same thing. Go to home. Uh, sorry, plant view. We select the circle. Select this point and do make it 7.5. And we go to home. Pull. Zoom. And now we have to watch out because you see this is a, a science park created from this a surface. So go to the select tool, you can see it better. So this is a surface and this is a surface. So if I select this one and I pull it out, you see it creates another object. You see? It's another object, and I want to have it and uh, just undo it. So it, it looks like it's one object, but they are two different objects, and we want to have it like one object to undo it and select both of them. So, so select the, the inner one, the inner circle, and the out circle, and now put the pull tool on it and do it for two and you'll see it's one object and just to this was three plus five is eight plus two is ten so this will stick in the other one and if I make the other one visible the bottom you know select You see, it sticks in there. And it can turn.